Now that we have covered snippets and all the elements of coding, let's talk about how to format source code. Formatting source code is most useful when trying to understand what we are viewing. In this example, I'm going to close our snippets panel and simply focus on this coding framework. In the last example, we added more portions to our footer section. Let's focus on making this section more readable and easier to understand. For example, we can oftentimes eliminate white spaces such as these and remove them as we can see a good content hierarchy. A content hierarchy is the indenting process. When we indent, we indent because we want to understand where and what elements are between which parent and child tags. In this instance, the P tag is our paragraph which pronounces our copyright statement. This copyright statement is also displayed within the footer tag. Therefore, instead of keeping the P tag elemented outside, we will simply tab it one step in. And so thus we can understand that the hierarchy goes from the footer to the P tag. We also have this div element. This div element starts here and ends down here. When we highlight or select this, we can validate it by seeing that it has highlighted for us. Let's go ahead and tab over the div tag. The div tag is now in line with the P tag because the P tag was already previously closed. Since this div tag is closed down here, let's go ahead and tab this one in as well. Now, whichever elements are within this parent as the child, such as this P tag and this P tag, we can now indent the entirety of this, but we will now indent it one more time. By indenting it one more time, we have the understanding that this element is within this div tag. We also have unnecessary white space here. We can remove this by backspacing and bringing everything closer together, making it more readable and understandable for our programming needs. We can also remove this white space and we will tab in this P tag element as well. We have now thus created one block within this div element. We also have this A tag that is in space and therefore we will move it simply behind this element and we can tab over this element as well to keep everything in one simple hierarchy. Therefore, all the elements that belong within this div tag are now tabbed over into one readable, manageable section. Let's close off this white space and this white space. And if we were to preview our before and after, we can see how easy it is now to read our footer section of our website.